This figure is a rectangle. Find the value of x. To solve this problem, first let's split the rectangle into two by drawing a perpendicular line that passes through the point where the lines in the given rectangle intersect. Let's call the top side of the rectangle A and the bottom side B. Let's recall one of the properties of rectangles which states that the opposite sides of rectangles are equal. It follows that this side will also be A and this side B. Next, let's draw another perpendicular line that also passes through the point where the lines in the given rectangle intersect. Let this side be C and this side D. Since the opposite sides of rectangles are equal, this side will also be C and this side D. Now, observe that the given rectangle has been split into four rectangles with opposite equal sides, that is, these sides will be A, B, C, and D. And each rectangle has a right triangle in it. Going further, we are going to apply Pythagoras' theorem to each right triangle in each rectangle. Considering the right triangle in the red rectangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, a squared, plus c squared, is equal to 4 squared. Let's this be equation 1. Next, let's consider the right triangle in the blue rectangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, b squared, plus c squared, is equal to x squared. Let this be equation 2. Next, let's consider the right triangle in the green rectangle. From Pythagoras' theorem, b squared plus d squared is equal to 5 squared. Let's this be equation 3. Finally, considering the right triangle in the yellow rectangle, from Pythagoras' theorem, a squared plus d squared is equal to 6 squared. Let's call this equation 4. Next, let's subtract equation 2 from equation 1. Doing so will give us a squared minus b squared is equal to 4 squared minus x squared. Let this be equation 5. Next, let's subtract equation 3 from equation 4. This will give us a squared minus b squared is equal to 6 squared, minus 5 squared. Let this be equation 6. From equation 5, a squared, minus b squared, is equal to 4 squared, minus x squared. If we go ahead and substitute this in equation 6, we will have 4 squared, minus x squared, is equal to 6 squared, minus 5 squared. 4 squared is 16, 6 squared is 36, and 5 squared is 25. So, we have 16 minus x squared is equal to 36 minus 25. Collecting like terms will give us x squared is equal to 16 minus 36 plus 25. This will give us 5. So that, x squared will be equal to 5. Taking the square root of both sides will give us x is equal to the square root of 5. And the square root of 5 is approximately 2.24. Hence, x is approximately 2.24. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.